All the trails I've hiked, um, the Allegheny Trail, it really stands out to me. It's just such a different experience on this trail as uh, more popular trails. To me, the Allegheny Trail is a trail you can hike and be as social or as secluded as you want to be. The Allegheny Trail is truly a way that an individual can come to West Virginia and enjoy the Appalachian Highlands. The mountains in West Virginia and the Appalachian Mountains period are just some spectacular, the mountains, the oldest mountains in the world. I mean, you, they speak for themselves and they'll speak to you. And this trail going 300 miles, you know, through our most beautiful part of our state is an opportunity to show the rest of the country what we all know living here in West Virginia of how beautiful this state is. Nick Lozano, as a 15-year-old Boy Scout, I believe he was 15, went on a trip with his scout troop and his scoutmaster, Doug McGrew, to Smoky Mountains National Park on the Appalachian Trail. He thought, even at that time, why can't we have something like this in West Virginia? So he dreamed about it for years and years and years. He was in the Isaac Walton League as an adult, and the Isaac Walton League had a meeting one night in the Charleston area and there was a fellow there named Bob Tabor who had recently moved to West Virginia. He was a member of the Roanoke Appalachian Trail Club. They met after the, the meeting because Bob stood up and proposed that the Isaac Walton League get involved in trying to develop an access trail to the Appalachian Trail in Southern West Virginia. That's how those two gentlemen got together and began to flesh out how the Allegheny Trail might be developed. And of course, it required forming an organization dedicated to that cause. People who want uh, more of a, slightly more of a wilderness feel than a national scenic trail like the Appalachian Trail is, we think the Allegheny Trail offers, we know the Allegheny Trail offers that. You've got a lot of different environments to explore. It's not just one single track trail. There's so many neat places on the Allegheny Trail. You can go all the way down to the AT. You're walking on the top of Peters Mountain. You walk out there a ways, you can just stop and look at a rock outcrop, look at the vistas off towards either direction, either the Virginia or the West Virginia side. I can remember one time we were working up in along Glady Creek. And while we were doing that, a bald eagle flew right over our heads, went down the creek, turned around, came right back up the creek. And it's, the whole trail is that way. Every, every piece of it's got its own special places. It's a unique experience, especially by seeing the um, Green Bank Observatory. I don't know many trails that has giant radio telescopes in your backdrop as you're hiking a ridge line. And um, I mean, hearing a train up there in the mountains as you're walking through there from the Cass Phoenix Railroad. It's just, it's an experience I didn't expect to see when I first started hiking the trail. I first went to Hanging Rock and one day I saw a bald eagle come down the top of the mountain right in my face and it changed my life. And to see one at eye level come right at you, look you right in the eye when it went by, it was just an amazing event and it's all part of the Allegheny Trail. It provides um, a means for uh, exercise um, while hiking the trail, but it also uh, affords uh, just uh, a great place to, to, to get away, um, to kind of have thoughts, you know, for myself. Um, I probably hike the trail either alone or with my dog <laughs> more often uh, than with someone, um, just because of the, the solitude and the tranquility that that trail offers. So I see the Allegheny Trail being a really important part of West Virginia and Southwest Virginia's future economic development too. And I think our organization, I can see it's growing. We have new people coming in and they have new energies, they have new ideas, and we are, us old timers are grateful for that, that's for sure. The Trail Association and the trail has, has evolved with technology. Getting people to, to discover it and get out here and, and learn to appreciate it and hopefully some of those people will come back and help maintain it because without the volunteers, there won't be a trail. And I've learned a lot because everybody that's involved with it brings a piece of their life with them. We've got a, a big variety of people in the trail association from doctors to truck drivers and everything in between. And uh, so you learn from people about so many things and nature's a big part of it.
I can't believe in the three years I've been part of it how much it's grown. So it's it's grown so much in three years. I'm really interested to see what it does over the next few five ten years. I really think it's gonna really really be put on the map with a lot of stuffs going on. I I got involved with the Trail Association kind of by going to Hanging Rock. I was hiking the Allegheny Trail and I didn't really know anything about it, so I, I learned about it. And um, I joined the Trail Association back then just because I was using their trail. I felt like it was my obligation to be a part of the group that was maintaining it. You, you need people to step up and help do the work, so that was, I felt like as, since I was using the trail that I should be one of those people and uh, it was just a natural fit. Really, I was just looking to meet with a like-minded group of people. And I mean, I really found that with uh, this group. I mean, everybody was so welcoming when I first came in. And I mean, they, they were ready to welcome whoever showed up. I always like for new people coming in to feel like they can contribute from their own talent pool and from their own ideas. So one of the more recent things that I helped out with is I helped paint one of the shelters. Everybody can pick up a paintbrush. Um, we didn't have to hike in this long distance to somewhere. But if it's just something like painting the shelter or getting out and like raking a little bit, I mean, it's not just going and painting the shelter. It's making an impact for years to come for the hikers who are going through using this shelter. So it's gonna make it, it's gonna make it sustainable. So it's it's equally as important. Yeah, it's a lot of work to you maintain a trail. I mean, I've come home tired many times over the years. But when you go back and you see what you've accomplished, it's worth it. And by doing trail maintenance, you're just giving back. You're just opening this up for other people so they have that opportunity. Whether you've done hundreds or thousands of hours like people have over the almost 50 year history of La Vista, every volunteer opportunity counts for something. Like whether you're me, I've only done one or two projects. Um, it's all very important to managing the trails for you know, decades to come. I just felt like this was just one of the best places I could be. It's West Virginia, it's where I'm from, and it's just not as well known as the Appalachian Trail, and I just want to help develop it and to get more people hiking it. I've met a lot of people, you know, just going to different events um, that have just been amazing. I mean, they really put the time and the work in for the enjoyment of thousands of people. Um, so I appreciate the work that they do and for people that like me who mostly just go out to enjoy. The first time I got to go out with them, it's just like I've never seen the amount of passion folks have for this trail and like really getting out and volunteering on it. You know, there's, it's so easy. It rubs off so easy on you. And it's like, yeah, I love doing this too. And you guys love this. So it's, I don't know. It's just a really great, I feel like always honored and very prideful about getting to put time into the trail with them. I think the Allegheny Trail is a good place to have people learn about nature, learn more about themselves, appreciate what they have, appreciate what our natural world offers. Once folks are exposed to the Allegheny Trail, it's going to light up their lives. It's like a doorway to a whole new world. And um, if you're enjoying nature, it's the, it's the place to go and you just need a trail to get you there, and that's what it's all about. Sometimes we disconnect ourselves to a point where we forget, like, what it is to be out and listen to those birds in the morning, listen to that creek and the riffles in the creek or the river, uh, be in awe of the animal that happens to cross your path. There's a majesty in that moment, right? Push yourself a little bit. Um, and by the end of your, your journey, it's, it's growth. It's personal growth. The message of the Allegheny Trail is an invitation. Learn about yourself, learn about nature, be human again on the trail with nature. And it's a ton of fun. I mean, let's be real, right? It's a ton of fun. This is a great place to be. It's a happy place. Come hike it.